students today we shall solve some problems on the inverse trigonometric functions let us look at the first question the question is if sin of sin inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1 if sin of sin inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1 then find the value of x find the value of x is the question here observe sin of sin inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1 they have already given this equation sin of this expression is equal to 1 then what is the value of x that is what we have to find out ok so now as you know sin of some angle here is equal to 1 sin of certain angle is equal to 1 this can happen only if this expression is equal to pi by 2 as you know sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 so from there we can write sin inverse of 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 sin inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 in this way sin of certain angle is equal to 1 therefore that angle is equal to pi by 2 because sin pi by 2 equal to 1 in that way you can do it or else you can also write it as sin of this expression is equal to 1 therefore this expression is equal to sin inverse of 1 and that sin inverse of 1 is nothing but pi by 2 ok after that we know one formula the formula is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 whenever x lies in the zero when x lies in the closed interval minus 1 to 1 then we can write sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 now if I compare these two equations here 1 by 5 we have so when I compare these two equations from there we can write x is equal to 1 by 5 because sin inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 this implies that x is equal to 1 by 5 ok now let us go to the next question if tan inverse of x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 tan inverse of x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 plus tan inverse of x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is equal to pi by 4 then find x ok see here also that have given an equation tan inverse of x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus tan inverse of x plus 1 by x plus 2 is equal to pi by 4 then what is the value of x ok so when I look at this expression this LHS it looks like a tan inverse x plus tan inverse y this LHS looks like tan inverse x plus tan inverse y you already know this formula that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y provided x into y is less than 1 so this formula we know tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y that formula I am going to use here it looks like tan inverse x plus tan inverse y so that will give us tan inverse of x plus y in place of x we have x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus in place of y we have x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 divided by 1 minus x y that is 1 minus x y x is x minus 1 by x minus 2 into y y is x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 that is equal to pi by 4 ok now tan inverse of this expression is equal to pi by 4 means that this expression will be equal to tan pi by 4 I can write this as x minus 1 by x minus 2 
plus x plus 1 by x plus 2 divided by 1 minus of x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x plus 1 by x plus 2 is equal to tan pi by 4. Observe here tan inverse of this expression is equal to pi by 4. Therefore, this expression is equal to tan pi by 4. That tan pi by 4 can be written as 1. Now, let us simplify this. I will take LCM here. LCM is x minus 2 into x plus 2. x minus 2 into x plus 2. I can write that as uh, x square minus 4. In the numerator, we will have x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus this product x minus 2 into x plus 1 divided by here also I will take LCM. LCM is an x plus 2 into x minus 2 which is x square minus 4. So this numerator will become x square minus 4 minus of x minus 1 into x plus 1 which is x square minus 1. On RHS we have tan pi by 4 tan pi by 4 is equal to 1. Okay. Now this x square minus 4 x square minus 4 gets cancelled. Here when I multiply and simplify it we are going to get x square plus x minus 2. This will give us x square minus x minus 2 divided by this will become x square minus 4 minus of x square minus 1. I will write that as minus x square plus 1 is equal to 1 on our x square 1 here. And now here x x gets cancelled. x square plus x square will give you 2x square minus 2 minus 2 will become minus 4 divided by here in the denominator x square gets cancelled minus 4 plus 1 will give us minus 3 that's equal to minus 1 sorry equal to plus 1. Take this minus 3 to RHS we get 2x square minus 4 is equal to minus 3 and that will imply 2x square is equal to 1. Take this minus 4 to RHS 4 minus 3 we get 1. So x square is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. This is the value of x. Okay. Now, let us go to the next question. Prove that, prove that tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 8. tan inverse 1 by 8 is equal to 5 by 4. Okay. See, they have given, we are asked to prove that tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 8 is equal to 5 by 4. I will take LHS. LHS is tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 8. Okay. So here I have considered this LHS. I will consider these two terms and afterwards I will consider these two terms. Here for these two terms we can use the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y which we used in our previous problem also. As we know tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy provided x into y is less than 1. Here x into y in place of x we have 1 by 5, in place of y we have 1 by 7, x into y means 1 by 5 into 1 by 7 which is 1 by 35 which is less than 1. So I can use that formula here. Similarly I will use the same formula 
for these two terms also, there also it is of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Okay. So if we do that, then here we have tan inverse of x plus y that is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 divided by 1 minus x y 1 by 5 into 1 by 7 plus. Similarly, we are using the same formula between these two terms also tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x into y. x is 1 by 3 here, y is 1 by 8. Okay, let us further simplify this. Take LCM, 35 is the LCM, numerator will be 7 plus 5. Similarly, in the denominator, 35 is the LCM, numerator will become 35 minus 1 plus tan inverse of okay so here also i will take lcm lcm is 3 into 8 which is 24 numerator is 8 plus 3 similarly in the denominator here lcm is 24 numerator will become 24 minus 1 okay here 35 35 is cancelled we will have tan inverse of 7 plus 5 which is 12 divided by 35 minus 1 which is 34 plus tan inverse of here 24 24 gets cancelled 8 plus 3 is 11 divided by 24 minus 1 which is 23 okay then that first term 12 by 34 tan inverse of 12 by 34 we have which can be written as 6 by 17 plus tan inverse of 11 by 23. Okay. So again, this is of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y, which is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y. That form I would like to use here. Tan inverse of x plus y, 6 by 17 plus 11 by 23 divided by 1 minus x into y. 6 by 17 into 11 by 23. That's equal to tan inverse of, take a here, 23 into 17. 23 into 10 is 230 plus 23 into 7. 23 into 7 is 161. Okay. 230 plus 161, which is 391. Okay. The numerator 23 into 6. 23 into 6 is 138 plus 17 into 11, 17 into 10 is 170, add another 17 to it, which is 187. Then in the denominator, here also LCM is 391. So this numerator will be 391 minus 66, which is equal to 391 gets cancelled. So you have tan inverse of 138 plus 187. Add 130 plus 180, 310, another 50, 325 divided by 391. We have cancelled 391 minus 66. That will also give us 325. So this is equal to tan inverse of 1. 325 gets cancelled. Tan inverse 1 we have. Tan inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4. That's exactly what we want to prove. Next question. Prove that cot inverse of cot inverse of root of one plus 
plus sin x plus root of 1 minus sin x divided by root of 1 plus sin x minus root of 1 minus sin x is equal to x by 2 where x belongs to open interval 0 to pi by 4. Okay. So, we are asked to prove that cardinals of root of 1 plus sin x plus root of 1 minus sin x divided by root of 1 plus sin x minus root of 1 minus sin x is equal to x by 2 whenever x lies in the interval 0 to pi by 4. This is what we are asked to prove. Okay. So, I will take LHC here. LHC is part inverse of root of 1 plus sin x plus root of 1 minus sin x divided by root of 1 plus sin x minus root of 1 minus sin x. That's equal to part inverse of, look here, 1 plus sin x is there. I will write 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 because you know cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. So, I will write 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 and afterwards sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2. Now, you might be thinking, sir, why do you want to write 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2? We can also write 1 as cos square x plus sin square x. Yes, we can. 1 is also equal to cos square x plus sin square x. But if I write this 1 as cos square x plus sin square x and sin x as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2, we cannot further simplify it. Whereas, if I write 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2, and write sin x as uh, 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2, then that expression can be written as cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square. Square root is there. Square root of cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square can also be written as cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2. So, that simplification will be easier. That's the reason why I would like to write 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2. So, root of cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 plus sin x is there that we can written as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 as you know sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta plus root of here also I am writing 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 minus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Same thing I will do it in the denominator also. We are writing 1 as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 and writing 1 as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 minus root of 1 which is cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 minus sin x is there we are writing that as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 ok that's equal to cot inverse of this is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square root of cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b can be written as a plus b whole square so cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square similarly in the second term we can write that as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole square divided by in the denominator also we can do the same thing it will be cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square minus root of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole square. Okay. So, root of cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square, I will continue here, root of cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square, 
I will write that as cos x y 2 plus sin x y 2 plus the next term will become cos x y 2 minus sin x y 2 then in the denominator you will have cos x y 2 plus sin x y 2 minus of cos x y 2 minus sin x y 2 which will become minus cos x y 2 plus sin x y 2 ok that is equal to I will continue here sorry I do not have enough space here what you will solve here sin x y 2 sin x y 2 gets cancelled cos x y 2 plus cos x y 2 will become 2 cos x y 2 divided by in the denominator cos x y 2 gets cancelled sin x y 2 plus sin x y 2 will give us 2 sin x y 2 ok then 2 2 gets cancelled cos x y 2 divided by sin x y 2 will become cot x y 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled cos x y 2 by sin x y 2 is cot x y 2 so we have cot inverse of cot x y 2 cot inverse of cot x y 2 is equal to x by 2 and that is what we wanted to prove let us look at the next question Next question. Prove that tan inverse of root of 1 plus x minus root of 1 minus x divided by root of 1 plus x plus root of 1 minus x is equal to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x where x is greater than or equal to minus 1 by 2 less than or equal to 1 ok this is what they have given then now you have to prove they have given that tan inverse of root 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x we must prove that this is equal to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x whenever x is between minus 1 by 2 and 1. Let me take this LHS which is tan inverse of root 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. Here I will make a substitution as put x equal to cos theta because if I put x equal to cos theta then this expression will be 1 plus cos theta this will become 1 minus cos theta for both of those we have a formula 1 plus cos theta can be written as 2 cos square theta by 2 and 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 which we have, have studied in our first video say. so so when I substitute x equal to cos theta, this will imply that theta is equal to cos inverse x. Okay. Substitute there. Tan inverse of root of 1 plus cos theta minus root of 1 minus cos theta divided by root of 1 plus cos theta plus root of 1 minus cos theta. That is equal to tan inverse of root of 1 plus cos theta. 1 plus cos theta can be written as 2 cos square theta by 2 minus here 1 minus cos theta can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2. A well known formula and do the same thing in the denominator also. Writing 1 plus cos theta as 2 cos square theta by 2 and writing 1 minus cos theta as 2 sin square theta. Okay. 
that's equal to tan inverse of here root of 2 cos square theta by 2 can be written as root 2 into cos theta by 2 minus root 2 into sin theta by 2 divided by similarly in the denominator also we get root 2 cos theta by 2 plus root 2 sin theta by 2. Okay. Now I will divide both the numerator and the denominator by root 2 cos theta by 2 dividing by root 2 cos theta by 2. So one question may arise in your mind, why should we divide by root 2 cos theta by 2 only? Why not uh, something else? You will get to know that in the next paper. So divide both the numerator and denominator by root 2 cos theta by 2. That will give you tan inverse of, when I divide by root 2 cos theta by 2, this will become 1 minus, here when I divide by root 2 into cos theta by 2, root 2 root 2 gets cancelled. Sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 will become tan theta by 2 divided by here also I am dividing by root 2 cos theta by 2 so this will become 1 plus here root 2 gets cancelled sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 will give you tan theta by 2 then that's equal to tan inverse of 1 minus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan theta by 2 this is a well known formula 1 minus tan a divided by 1 plus tan a is equal to tan of pi by 4 minus a so this will become tan of pi by 4 minus in place of a we have theta by 2 1 minus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan theta by 2 is equal to tan pi by 4 minus theta now tan inverse of tan pi by 4 minus theta by 2 is equal to pi by 4 minus theta by 2 as we know tan inverse of tan y is equal to y so we have pi by 4 minus theta by 2 that's equal to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 into theta what is theta theta is nothing but cos inverse 6 so we got pi by 2 minus half cos inverse x that's exactly what we want pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x Okay, let's go to the next question. The next question is find the value of find the value of tan sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cot inverse 3 by 2. Okay. We are asked to find the value of this sin inverse tan of sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cot inverse 3 by 2. Okay. So here what we do is we will write these two both in terms of tan inverse we will express these two in terms of tan inverse so that this will be of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y then on simplification we will get tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y here you have tan of tan inverse of some value in it so that itself we can write tan of tan inverse x is equal to x you can use that formula so with that intention I would like to write these two terms in terms of tan inverse. This term writing in terms of tan inverse is very easy because we know that cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x. So immediately I can write cot inverse 3 by 2 as tan inverse 2 by 3. That can be written right. But how to write this in terms of tan inverse? I'll explain. So, I will take that sin inverse of 3 by 5 as some theta, let it be equal to theta. Sin inverse of 3 by 5 equal to theta and theta. So, when sin inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to theta, then what happens to sin theta? Sin inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to theta, then sin theta 
is equal to 3 by 5. Okay. Let us consider a right angle triangle. Let this angle be theta. Here we have sin theta is equal to 3 by 5. As we know, sin theta is defined as opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse. This is the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Here sin theta is equal to 3 by 5. So this is 3, this is 5. Opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5. Therefore, uh, what will happen to the adjacent side? By Pythagorean triplets, 3, 4, 5. There are Pythagorean triplets. So the adjacent side will be equal to 4. Okay. So when sin theta is equal to 3 by 5, what will happen to tan theta? Tan theta is equal to 3 by 4. Opposite divided by adjacent. Tan theta is equal to 3 by 4. Therefore, theta can be written as tan inverse of 3 by 4. So, here we have taken sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to theta and now we have obtained that theta is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4. From these two, we can write sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4. Okay. So, this is equal to tan of sin inverse 3 by 5 is nothing but tan inverse 3 by 4 plus cot inverse 3 by 2 already you know which can be written as tan inverse of 2 by 3 cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x that's equal to tan of here you use tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula that will give you tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x into y that is equal to tan of tan inverse of take LCM here 12 is LCM 3 into 3 9 plus 4 into 8 4 into 2 8 9 plus 8 divided by in the denominator also here also 12 is LCM this will become 12 minus 6 okay that is equal to tan of tan inverse of 12, 12 is cancelled, 9 plus 8 which is 17 divided by 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 tan of tan inverse of 17 by 6 is equal to 17 by 6 as you know tan of tan inverse of 6 is equal to x for all values of x for all the other values of x okay with this problem I will conclude today's class thank you